Hello there and welcome back to another edition of the Hot Lap Classic Remastered. This time we take a look at the 1996 Honda Prelude SIR. Hell yeah, the Honda Prelude. This generation of Prelude, this is the first of this, the 6th gen Prelude to go around the track. Uh, we've had a couple of 5th gen cars, which is the other Prelude in this game. Uh, we've had both of them, actually. But now, it's the term of these, the later cars. And to be honest with you, this is my favourite era of the Prelude. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. Um, the engines on these were cool. They had four-wheel steering in certain markets um, and certain trims. Yeah, these are cool cars. Unfortunately, um, the racing mod for them is a bit um, fast and furious. Uh, I had to use the racing mod on this. As soon as I saw it, it was green, purple, and pink. I went... Yeah, I, I gotta use that. Uh, I could not resist. Uh, this one wasn't gonna run racing mod, but now it is. Because uh, of course it is. Anyways, front engine, front wheel drive, 323 horsepower, 1,076 kilos. Pretty average statistics for this track. Let's go ahead and see how average the Prelude is, because the Preludes we've had before have been average. Anyways, it is going to get six laps of the Motorsports Land track in order to set the best time it possibly can. Our current leader is the Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution 6 Rally Car, which set a time of a 27.718. The Prelude is unlikely to beat that. Now, the quickest Prelude we've had was the, uh, the VTEC Prelude, which had racing mod that was a 31.1, uh, which is basically where a lot of front-wheel drive coupes exist, and, well, it's already matching it. This is going to be quick, you know, um, by the looks of it. Not what I would expect. I honestly thought the uh, Integras were going to be the quickest. I think quickest Integra we've had, ooh, about 30.7, I think. So I don't know if we're going to quite get that out of it, but uh, we will give it a go. I had a messy uh, gear shift right around here uh, which wasn't ideal 30.994 we're under 31 which is good um this is uh, really really good actually to drive uh, another green car on the track and uh, it's actually up through the first sector on that uh, lotus spree we had go around uh, which is the quickest car in the current session uh, wow it still is as well you know Probably just this, uh, the straights are probably affecting it. 30.655, wow. <laughs> yeah, this is quick. This is really nice to drive, actually. I am super impressed with it. This is, uh, if I'm being honest, this is basically nigh on perfect. There is a little bit of uh, understeer when you hit the brakes. Just a smidgen, like it just l seems like it almost locks up for a sec, which is sort of normal for uh, front-wheel drive cars and four-wheel drive cars, actually, in this game. But other than that, it's fine. Unfortunately, I ran over the grass there. It's just going to be one of those cars where the more you try and push it, the, uh, the harder it becomes to extract lap time from it. Okay. Final lap I want to get right for this car. Because I do think this could be phenomenally fast. Who thought I'd be concentrating so much to get a prelude around the track? Well, here we are. That first sector was not as neat as I may have wanted it to be. Use the cheeky corner cut, which is definitely one way to make up some time. Although, in this case, it won't have helped it too much. 30.455, that could go quicker. That, honestly, that, that's quite irritating, that, because that really could go quicker. But, um, that's phenomenal, actually, if I'm being honest. That really is very, very quick indeed. Um, yeah. The problem is, it um, hasn't got a turbo on it, so it is a little bit sort of 
when you come out the corners you don't get quite the uh, the turbo shove i'm sure if this was um turbo charged this um very easily could be well up there if this had like the power the other uh, integras had but still handled like this does that could be uh, mighty 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 quick um yeah i think there's point two in there but um yeah, 30.455. Uh, that will place it into 75th place. It is quicker than an Audi A4 Avant, Mitsubishi Legnum, quicker than the Mugen Integra Type R, which I forgot about, quicker than the Vauxhall Vectra, thank God, um, quicker than an NA Mitsubishi GTO, Lancia Stratos. It is only fractionally slower than a Renault Clio Sport, Lotus Esprit Sport 350, which, again through most of the lap it was keeping up with it's just that final straight and that spree has well over 600 horsepower um slightly slower than the civic ferio as well which is quite a similar car although i think that was turbocharged so you can sort of see the difference there uh turbocharging is definitely what you want for this track but um no that was a phenomenally good car actually i'm really really impressed i'm very excited to see uh, what the other preludes hold in store Anyways, that is it for this episode. Thank you all very much for watching, and join me next time when I'm driving something completely different. Until then, farewell. <laughs>